Hi, I'm Dan Hegstead. Welcome to my vlog and podcast, Next Steps, Tools for Transforming from Coping to Thriving. It's all based on my book by the same title, and this is available on Amazon as a print as a Kindle e-reader and as an Audible audiobook read by me. The link to uh, where you can buy it on Amazon is on my website, and I work as a speaker and trainer. If you want to book me as a speaker or look into it, that's on my website also. It's danhegstead.com, D-A-N-H-E-G-S-T-A-D.com. Today, I want to talk about... Well, big picture, it's about energy, but it's about a lot more than that. <clears throat> I learned years ago that everything in the universe is energy. It just it came to me one day when I was doing my Tai Chi. Everything is energy. It's just in different forms. Is it's the sun. It's uh, it's. You know, my book is just energy in a different form. It's you. It's your personality. It's you. It's your spirit. It is the weather. It's just on and on and on. Everything is energy in different forms. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. But it can transform into anything. Uh, take some raw materials, add the energy of some imagination, and you come up with something brand new. And you think about that for a while. Everything is energy. Uh, that's what makes sense to me. And as we practice Tai Chi, we're always working with energy. The Chi, it is constantly moving from yin to yang and back and forth and so forth. Everything is energy. Um, and you can control that. Some people very, very well. That's where a Reiki and healing comes from. Uh, if you're into martial arts, you can break things with it if you control it. Uh, but you can also be affected by other people's energy. And I learned this when I was teaching my Tai Chi. We'd get together with a class of uh, five to 20 people, and there was just so much energy in the room, you could just feel it. And a lot of people, once they start relaxing and doing their Tai Chi, that energy just broadcasts. Think of like a, like a lighthouse. Um, and, and I was picking up on that, and I'd leave class just swirling with emotions. And, and, and well, I discovered what I had to do was kind of seal myself off from that because I was receptive to it. People were transmitting it. And so I, I learned that as a teacher. And that's a great lesson for life also. You can get caught up in the energy of others or situations, and that can be good or it can be not so good, depending on the situation. I say that you should be extremely conscious about who you connect with. Who are your friends? What groups do you belong to? This is really important, and you can choose all this because you want to be a good and happy person, so you should hang around with good and happy people. Uh, churches can be very good, but churches can be very bad, too, because... Groups will rise to the level of the highest intellect or sink to the level of the lowest. And that doesn't mean, you know, a church isn't automatically good. Um, but I, I was a member of the Rotary Club for 20-plus years. That is a good group to be part of. I was a better person, and I accomplished more and did good things because I was consciously connected with good people. So think of that. But all kinds of groups can go bad. Now, I mention that because uh, I'm recording this on the 1st of February, 2023, and just in the last week, we've had news of these uh, uh, police officers in Memphis that uh, beat a guy to death for no reason. And was it racial? Well, they're all black. He was black. It wasn't a racial thing. I'm sure every one of those cops had been um, racially profiled. They knew what they were doing. But they weren't seeing themselves as black as part of a 
I think, a gang. They were the Scorpion Task Force. So, or, or you're part of a police department. You get into this group that has a bad or negative energy, and you just swirl down with it. Uh, we had this attack on the Capitol of January 6th a couple years ago. Now these people are being uh, tried, and so many of them are regretting it. I don't know what happened to me. I just got swept up in it. That's exactly the same thing. And you need to be careful about who you hang out with and who you let in your life because it can go bad. And you have a choice about that. I learned this years ago. Um, I was in a casino and, um, and I would leave there just feeling awful. Well, I hadn't been doing Tai Chi very long, and I realized uh, later with the help of a mentor, I'm open to all this energy, and there is bad, bad negative energy at casinos. There are people there throwing their money away, living a lie. Uh, it's just a bad place. Now, I can go to casinos. Uh, we're going to a concert in a couple of weeks, going to have dinner and you know, all that's fine. But I just have to be aware of that, and I have to seal myself off from that, that negative energy. Uh, a few years ago, I came upon a major car crash, three cars totaled, nobody killed, people injured. Uh, and so I was there for uh, an hour or so uh, in, in that. And it, it affected me for a week afterwards. It really did. Now, again, nobody died, but people's lives were uprooted and changed and just seeing the violence of that. And it was a woman's fault. She wasn't looking and... Uh, it, it was bad. a lot of bad things were happening there, and I got swept up in that energy. And that can happen to you, too, whether you realize it or not, but you can do something about it. Be aware of it and choose to you know, not be connected with that. So be very choosy about the people you hang out with. Now, the last part of this is that in the book, I have you write things. What are you afraid of? What are your secrets? Who are you? And I insist that you write a uh, pen on paper because there's something just powerful about that. You need to be really clear about who you are, what your standards are, what your morals are, what you do and what you do not do. Because if you're in a situation where you're being asked or maybe find yourself swept along where uh, you don't feel comfortable, if you're not clear about who you are, what you do, what you do not do, you can get swept away in that and find yourself doing things or being with people that you regret. This is pretty important. This is the energy of the universe. You are connected to it whether you know it or not or whether you believe it or not, but it's true. You have some control over this. All right, thank you ever so much for listening and watching. Uh, my website, danhegstead.com, and this has been Next Steps, Tools for Transforming from Coping to Thriving.